Denver. Denver is a beautiful metropolitan city with an airport, stadium, and suburbs. But there's lots of beautiful metropolitan cities in the world. What makes this one so special is the stuff nearby. This stuff. Welcome back to Every Other Carl. I'm Carl. This is obviously not one of those beautiful drone shots that you just saw, but when you need an intro, you need an intro, and this pavilion at a park will do the trick. This video is all about day trips from Denver. There are so many options. You can live in Denver your entire life and not explore everything, for sure. But if you're there for a week or a few days or something like that, here's some great options for you to try out. They're all within 30 minutes to an hour, and they're pretty cheap or even free. Enjoy. The first trip is Chief Mountain. This beautiful day hike is just under an hour from Denver. It's listed as moderate on all trails, but in the winter, it might be a little harder than that. If there's snow on the ground, definitely bring spikes or yak tracks to give yourself some traction. Also, even if it's warm in Denver, Chief Mountain Trailhead starts at 10,800 feet. It's more than a mile higher than Denver. From there, it goes up to nearly 12,000 feet. It's a lot colder up here, so wear something warm. The trail is a three mile out and back, and it should take a couple hours, maybe three, depending on your pace. It goes through thick forest first before breaking the tree line. That's where things get really special. Check this out. Oh yeah. When you get there, you'll understand. As my local friend and guide told me, there aren't that many day hike mountains with a full 360 degree panoramic view like this. It's spectacular. Wow. If you're a photographer like me, make sure you have your camera. These kind of views don't come around that often. Here's a little bonus. If you're heading east on I-70, coming back into Denver from Chief Mountain or any of the ski areas, you're gonna pass right through Genesee Mountain Park. There's an amazing spot right off the highway called Buffalo Overlook. As the name implies, you got a really good chance of seeing a herd of wild bison and elk right in front of you. I was so surprised by this place, literally right off the highway. You should definitely check it out. Next day trip up is El Dorado Canyon. This is a great little spot right by Boulder, Colorado. So if you're in Denver, it's about 30 minutes to Boulder or so, maybe a little more. Um, but this canyon is beautiful. It's $10 to get in for the day. Great little hikes if you want, some short ones, and some longer ones too. Highly recommend it. This next spot is the Flatiron Mountains. There's, again, there's a bunch of hikes here. The main thing is the views of these mountains. They're all iron colored, huge, steep, sheer faces. Really special place. 
The Flatirons are only about 20 minutes from El Dorado, but this geography here is really unique. Giant red slabs with great views of Boulder. There's lots of hikes for different skill levels and time frames. The parking lot is free, but a little bit small, so try to get there early. And definitely bring micro spikes if there's snow on the ground. It gets really slippery. When you're done, you can check out Boulder. It's right there. All right, this next one is Estes Park, Colorado. I'd say this is the farthest one of the different options that I showed you here. It's almost an hour from, from downtown Denver, um, but it is an outdoor adventure wonderland. an incredible place if you've never been here they have everything every kind of outdoor adventure sport you can imagine today I'm trying a new adventure sport never done it before I've been downhill skiing my whole life this is my first time on cross-country skis and it is a workout but the workout is worth it because look at this place astounding last spot, maybe I'm saving you a little trouble. If you're looking for hot springs near Denver, the only option you're really going to see is Indian Springs. And if you look at the reviews, they're kind of mixed for good reason. It's not the best option. It is the only option. And if you want a hot spring, then hit it up. Um, it's not too expensive, but if, you, if you've been to any other hot springs, you're going to be a little bit disappointed here. In any case, this is Indian Hot Springs. So Onion Springs Resort is about 35 minutes from Denver and it gets mixed reviews. It's fairly commercialized. This isn't like a hike to access hut spring, um, but we're going to check it out. I'll let you know. I didn't want to film too much in the hut spring because there's a bunch of people there. And listen, it's not terrible. I mean, the water is hot. The staff is nice, but it could seriously do with a nice cleanup and some cans of paint. I might have been a little more forgiving, but a couple days later, I went to an absolutely beautiful hot spring a few hours away. I'll show you that in my next video, so subscribe, you know? All right, that's going to do it for day trips from Denver. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, maybe you get to try one of these out. Go ahead and comment down below if you've been to one of these spots before or if you have a secret day trip you want to recommend to people. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. And if you would, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers this month. That's going to do it for this one. I'll see you in the next video.